Madness. When he disappears, he's going to come back in. I'll say it again if he comes back. All right. Okay. Got yellow bands get ready, guys. We've got people on press and play because it's um it's Easter week, isn't it? And stuff like that. Getting visitors. And I've got a complaint as well. What have I said about about people visiting Cornwall? No. And what's happened? I've got some coming down. Don't believe it. <laughs> no. And anyway, after this, I'm out, I'm putting a tent up outside. Well, it's not a tent. I'm going to paint Cynthia's greenhouse white and tell him it's a tent. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's sorted out. All right. Oh, look for that, guys. We'll carry on talking all day, won't we? Let's, um, what are we going to do next? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to meet you down. There. Good. And that done. All right. This is where I have to compose myself and remind myself, it's not being fit. It's so good stuff. If you haven't done it, guys, the Monday, uh, if you haven't done your press and play yet, I wasn't too sure if it would be, because it, it was, I aimed it strictly towards, if you've done it, you know, towards doing Pilates and just low and think. So when you're left, it's like a case of, have I just done a workout, but feeling good and feeling, and I've had some good feedback from it. So thank you. And I didn't ask, but uh, people enjoyed it. So thanks for that. And yes, we will do some more where it is just super slow and bring it up into the little grey matter and the cells here. I've got you back on a picture, Wayne. Just Wayne pressing, look, looking for his audio button. Obviously, Wayne hasn't got a 10-year-old there to sort it out for him. we in a second. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get the feet either side of the beam. Last week, we started a bit different, didn't we? Oh, it's sunny outside. Can't believe it. It's a bit nippy, but it's sunny. Who cares? Take the hands up and out. Turn up and breathe in. Exhale to the heart. Looking good. Squish it back out. Turn up and go again. Exhale down to the heart. Nice and gentle, guys. Not scree screeching it and screeching it. Pushing the hands way out long ways. Turn up and go again. Just getting the air in the lungs. Feeling good. Getting the old feeling of, isn't it great to be alive? Let the knees just be off lock. Pause and hold that there. Good posture. Although the feet are in, it feels a bit weird. 30% pelvic floor and abs. Hold there. Keep the hands here and gently rotate around left and right. Keep those insteps alongside the beam. Feet will tilt over a little bit. Take it as far as you can and hold. Unwind, bring it back around again. And to the other side. Pass wide to the eyes. All the way around. There. Unwind. And push. Now with the hands to here, we work those muscles a little bit harder down the spinal column. There. What a nice stretch, isn't it? Back round towards me and round to the other side. Use the mobilisation as well. There, rather than our normal three pointy fingers ones or three either side. Back round towards me. Good. I squish the hands out. This time reach for the walls. Push them out and turn the palms upwards. Big breath in. Exhale down to the heart. There. Looking good. Arc the hands down, lean over left or right, any side you want to, guys. So we're bringing it right down, getting that focus in, feel the stretch in the waistline, not going to go any further. That's about eight seconds, bring it up and over to the other side. We're going to get our eye in the same as normal, then we'll pick up the band and do some different stuff to last week. Bring it back up again. Let's place the hands onto our thighs, put your little gauges in the side, and just get a gauge of this one. Just got to. Click that in for Ali. All right. So one time only. Bicycle chin. Big deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest. Don't worry about those knees bending. The first one, we're taking it down, working the spinal column across the top of the feet, in front of the toes, chin to the chest. Think cat stretch, but don't force it. Gentle 15s for a reset. Breathe in. Exhale and slowly oh, back click there then. And suddenly, just before you move and the spine goes clunk and you think, oh, did I carry on? Or is a bit fell off? There, guys, good. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to click in. Wayne again. There we go. Good. Okay, so we're here. Looking good. Right. Slide your beam forward. Place the right heel onto it. We're going to use it for this hamstring stretch. Did this for the first time a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? However, this today, a movement. Take the hands up and out, hold that there. Now get good balance. Bring your foot out to the side a bit more if you need to. Looking good. Inhale. Exhale and over 
we go to there. Good. I've got you on visual again. Yeah, great. You can hear me, Wayne. Well done, mate. And down we go. And hold that there. Breathe in. Exhale. And slowly back up again. All the way to there. Now turn the hands up. Breathe in. Keep those toes pulled up towards the shin. Exhale down towards the heart. Squish that back out. Breathe in. Exhale and over again. So it's like a, a yoga move all the way through, guys. Down we go and we hold. Now, whichever foot you've got on the beam, rotate away from the beam the other way. But let the heel go around with you. Don't keep the foot straight down the beam. There, so we're just going for the height. Now unwind, bring it back around towards me. Good. Inhale. Exhale and slowly bring that back up again. Hands above the head in one movement. Exhale down to the heart if you could breathe that long. If you couldn't, nice normal breath. Squish the hands back out. Watch your balance on this one. Breathe in now. Exhale, bending it forwards, taking it down again, rolling the heel on the beam, and now rotate towards the beam. Let the foot go with it as well, spinning on the, hand, on the heel. Round we go. And then unwind back to me. And if you like Wayne, you haven't got your beam with you, use a cushion. Inhale, exhale, and slowly coming back up. Right above the head again. Keep focus, guys. Exhaling down to the heart. Good. Bringing the hands down onto that thigh. One movement. Breathe in. Exhale. Now slide down the front of that leg. Again, using the beam. Now we're on the heel. Go to your maximum, your 15. Bit of discomfort is good. Two and a one. Breathe in. Exhale. Slowly unwind. Bring it back up. Flatten the foot onto the beam. Take the hands up and out. Turn up and breathe. Exhale down to the heart. Arc the hands to the hips with the foot on the beam and the other foot on the floor. And just if you have to on the floor, but circle those hips around. Circle them around. You've got a little bit of a lead leg work going on there and take it back the other way. So a nice big, 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 huge, ginormous, big exercise to open up with. Three, two, and a one, pause, hold. Not done. Take the hands up and out. Hold that there and gently push the foam pillars down. Keep both heels flat. And the one on the floor. Both heels flat. Good. Breathe in. Exhale. Slowly back up again. Working the muscles. Good stuff. One more. Breathe in. Exhale. Down. So we stretched them. We mobilized them. We've got the joints going. Down we go, guys. There. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly back up. Arc the hands down and step away from the beam. Give it a shake out. So it feels like the, both legs working, but totally different. This one's worked hard. That's now going to get stretched out. So the sides are going to feel different. <coughs> one inch to the other, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Place your other heel onto the beam. And I've actually got a bit of a dip there. So I've, I've put my heel on the same dip that was left on the beam. All right. Not exactly the same side, but almost. So get that balance. Get it nicely to there. Looking good. Okay, pull the toe towards the shin. Hands up and out. Stand easy position behind the back. Now watch your balance on this one. Relax the arms down. Big deep breath in. Exhale and now bend forwards. There. Not to push the hands down the back. Just keep them to the side. Feel how the difference is. Now the lower back has got less work to do in this one. So you're going to get increase all the way down. And the stretch is going to go up the spinal column. Breathe in. Exhale and slowly coming back up. On the next one, watch out for your balance, okay? And make sure you're spinning on that heel so the foot follows the body round. Breathe in. Exhale. Down we go. God, we're doing new moves again. How many moves are there? Gordon Bennett's wife marrying a goldfish. That's me nice and low. Now rotate away from the beam. Let the foot spin as well. Take the body all the way, hands behind the back, stand easy position. Did you feel yourself grip your fingers a little bit there, but bit of squeezing on. Untwine, guys, bring it back round towards the beam. Top of the head's touching, breathe in. Exhale and slowly come back up again. Get nice and tall. Before we move on, take the hands up the body, take them out, turn up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Keep them in the prayer position for this move. Keep the thumbs touching the sternum, breathe in. Exhale and all we go. Extra focus on our movements because we're combining lots of different moves at the same time. Get nice and as low as you can, 15, and rotate towards the beam. You're not going to get as far around. 
because the arms are, are tucked in and the hands on the sternum. Breathe in, exhale back round towards me, top of the head's touching, inhale, exhale and bring it back over. Just as I did that, everything was released and I was getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Keep the toe towards the shin, take the hands out, turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale nicely down to the heart, guys. Hold that there, flatten the foot out onto the beam. Oh, that feels good straight away, doesn't it? I'm taking my hands down to the hips for this one. Okay, pull the toe back towards the shin. Inhale, exhale, bend it forwards gently, just nice and gently, straight forward. Down we go, look at the depth we've got. Then gently bring it back up again, just slowly. Now flatten the foot out. Take the hands up and out, heels flat on the floor, big deep breath in, exhale and gently sink it down. Pushing the foam down, getting as low as you can. Your little hamstrings working hard now, breathe in. Exhale and up we come nice and slowly. Pause, one more of those and we're done, breathe in. Exhale and gently pushing the foam pillars down. Nice concentration, look down towards the floor as well, don't look straight ahead. Because you're bending that back forward, it keeps the ears, shoulders, hips aligned, de-stressing the neck. Inhale, exhale, slowly bring the back up. That's been a big exercise, guys. Take the foot off the beam, mark those hands down, and give it all a nice shake out. So working, everything, getting immobilized. Now we're going to bring the feet alongside the beam, back to here, back of the hands facing me, and then back to one of these guys, shoulder height to the front and then to the rear. And this is mainly for your upper body and your shoulders get those all going. We're going to go straight to W position in two and one, it's there. But slowly build it up. Big exercise at the beginning, we're going to slow it right down again. A4 pay between the shoulder blades, up onto the toes, hand span, thumbs, little fingers, opening those up. Looking really good, there we go. We're going to go to long arms in two and one. And all the way up and back down again. If you're not watching Wayne, he's got to top up with another, another glass of rum, it looked like. He drinks, he drinks <laughs> one. Reach up the ceiling, up onto the toes, getting nice and high. Good. And bring the elbows in. So we're not going as fast as normal. It's all control, just pushing upwards. We're going to two for the price of one. In two and one. And I'm there. And back. Now slow this right down. There, look. It looks like my internet's gone wrong. That's the speed I'm doing, guys. There and back. Push the hands to the rear. Then bring them there, that pause hold. And then back again. Push to the rear. Down we go. There. This is a bit like all the session we did on Monday on the nil grip. It's there. We're going to feel the body all the way through exactly what's going on. Up we go. And back down again. Two more. There's one. And we bring it back again. Good control. Now feel the power you've got and the strength in the body. Hold that there. I'm on the toes, heels off the floor. Take the hands to the side and hold. Looking good. Turn the hands up. Relax tall tower there. Lock the thumbs out. Bring them to the front. Breathe in. Exhale. And now bring it back up. Fantastic. That deserves a clap. Well done. And shake it all out. Now, if you've come up from that one, can you feel how it's between the shoulders and down the spine? Nice big full body one, guys. Let's go on to the beam, shall we? And we've got to do this one. Why? Because I said so. Okay. Next foot front. Left heel, deliberate hangover, drop that heel over. Front foot. Now, you've got a normal step on there. I want you to look where your toe is and step forward one. So you've got a bigger step onto the beam. Now push the heel down. There. And feel difference normal weeks. There. The body normally goes straight up and down, doesn't it? It's coming slightly forward now, so we're getting a bit more engagement through here. There we go. Pushing down and back. Just on the back foot, the toes there. Take the hands up and out. Focus, balance, both toes ready, go. Up and back. There and back. Turn the palms up there. Join the hands in, not a hand clap, but almost there and down. Fantastic. As soon as it's not a hand clap, but almost, you all know it's coming. Now my Achilles there and the back one's really clicking away like mad. There, good. Up and down there. Two left, one and a two. It's there, arc the hands down and step off that beam, guys. So notice the difference, you take one length of your foot forwards, it totally changes everything. Change it all out, switch out, give the legs a shake, back to the beam. So just get onto the beam normally, without even think, now you're thinking about it, oh, if you know what's coming. Drop the heel over the back of the beam, look at your toe on that front foot and step forward one. There, 
Also note how good you are, the balance just holding that there. Fantastic. We're ready? Heel downwards and back up. And I'm rocking that foot. I'm coming up onto the toes and gently back down again there. Front foot's nice and stable. Getting the eye in. Now feel that extra, the calves, the calves working hard, obviously, getting that stretch roll, but the quads, the glutes, the lower abs, you can feel everything engaging. But well, one little step forwards. Take the hands up and out to there. Both toes up we come and back down. There's some great straight line work there. Fantastic. Turn the hands up, a lot of hand clap, but almost and there. Doesn't that feel better? You reach the arms up and we get higher on the toes. How does that work? I don't know. There. Two left, there's one. And back. And two. And back down. Arc the hands down, guys. Graceful, well done. Step away and shake it out. We've not really, it feels like I haven't done a lot, but you can tell by the heart we have. We're burning calories. We're using these big, big muscles. Now it's the three steps. Right foot front, left foot behind. Let's see how we, we can probably all step off the beam now, won't we? Three steps, beam fit. Beam largest, sorry. Speed, go. And one, two, three. Return three, two, one. Again, go. Heel toe, heel toe. Heel, toe, and return. There. Now, you know that walkers know about this. So when you step forwards, heel, toe, imagine there's a lemon under the ball of your foot and you're squashing the juice out. I want you, when you walk backwards, to have the same lemon under the heel. So when you roll the foot backwards, guys, we're all squashing those lemons on the beam. You roll the foot forwards. Toe, heel, backwards as well. There. This is a green sport, remember? So squash the same lemons all the time. Don't set people. There. And to the front. And you've seen the price of lemons. Good, there we go. Back. And two and three. One more. Here we go. Squash, heel, toe, and squash. Return, toe, heel, and squash. And there. And hold. And hands up and out. Turn up, breathe. Does that make you focus on your steps and rolling those feet? Exhale down to the heart. Going to arc it all the way down, guys. Clap from me. It's two claps. Go, don't believe it. Let's see if we get a hat trick. Let's swap the feet over. Well, don't swap the feet over. Do a switch back. Drop the heel over, bring it forwards, get set up. Hopefully, when I'm going around now, I'm going to put these buttons on tape. You centre the tapes all the time. Us on the beam, I've got no hangovers at any point, very, very minimal. Go, and one, two, three. Now think about those lemons, guys. There, under the heel, toe to heel backwards, and there. Then reverse it, under the, pop, the ball of your foot. Heel, toe, heel, toe, and we're rolling that foot, and to the rear. Good return circulation. Plantar fascia, loving it. There. And out. Now, plantar fascia, a little shock absorber God put in our foot. There. And return. And back. The body wants to speed up. We're not going to let that happen. There. Every so often I get a tiny little wobble. We take control of that. Our main focus is the body weight distribution throughout the feet. One more to the front. Lemon heel toe. And again. And there. And then to the rear, toe heel, and toe heel, and toe heel. And then take the hands up this side, guys. Take them out. Proud, look good, breathe in. Exhaling down to the heart. Going to arc that nicely down, step away, and give it a nice shake out. One more without the band, and we get everything in and sorted. But you missed the beginning bit, Ali, about uh, your bands here. I was laugh talking about the um, health and safety note I got with it, about you not to put the plastic bag on your head, all right? Okay. Don't want to see you use an orange band next time with a big plastic bag on your head because it's a big bag. Okay, hands to our sternum, guys. Five flying angels. The fifth one was staying down there, okay? No knee raise, just straight down to the knee, then we'll eventually come back up again. So we're ready. Three, two, one, pointy fingers go. There, one. I'm not going all the way down. There, just gradually to your own depth each time. So you choose to how depth you go you go in until the fifth one. So each one a little bit lower. On this fourth one, my knee is just going to touch the beam for the first time. There, I bring it up. Fifth one staying down there, and I'm in and holding. Let's put a breath in, shall we? Turn the hands up and breathe. Exhale down. Have some good balance going now. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Squish those hands out and a return for three, two, and a one. Up we come. It's there, no hangovers, nice gradual dip down. Well done. Switch back, guys, swap the feet over. Go, you can feel those stars working super hard, can't you? Just by the steps and the other stuff. And just a, exactly the same thing this side. Onto the stern. Three, two, one, and go. 
I sent a dusty bin there, didn't I? There, dusty who? And back. We've never heard of him. And let me go again there. Good. And back. So again, that's this is my pick. If you've got to go a little bit faster, keep the balance, that's fine. A bit slower is also cool. That's my third one, that's my hat trick. Fourth one, my knees is going to touch the beam. There. And gently back up again. Same speed down, same speed back up. Fifth one, here we go. I'm in, I'm down. And comfy. I can just that knee if I need to. Turn the hands up and breathe. We've all got a favourite side in this one, haven't we? Always got a favourite side. Exhale down. Especially out in fact, about a thousand years' time when our foam is about this thick, we might not have a favourite side. Recover. Three, two, and one up we come. Roll the foot. It's there. Fantastic. Well done. Give it a shake out, guys. Let's shake out. Get yourself a quick drink. I was going to. I can't. Oh, I just gave up. I don't know where I put it. Never mind. Okay, got my yellow band. I haven't put any. I brought the handles with me, but I didn't put them on. Right? Um, no reason. You can if you want. Just tie it down to yourself, guys. But as you know, I use the carabiners for my, my handles for this one. All right. Bit different start this week. When you think we'll be walking, doing a bit of this, it's going to be left foot to the, sorry, right foot to the front, into the right hand. Test this out. It's either tester, okay? On and a single arm press. So I'm just getting the right amount there, holding it to here, and that's what we want. Now, what we want is the stray up and down there, nothing coming out to the side that way, exaggerated or inwards, normally outwards. So I've got and just enough on. I'm going to put a little bit more on, and this is fantastic for educating the control for the muscles, the shoulders, the elbow, and the wrists. Stand nice and tall now, no crouching over. Capital P for posture, bringing the hand to here, ready, and go. Press, and back down, and there. And that's the speed there, to keep it going straight up, and down, there. Good, so if I open my hand up, the open hand will be facing you, and nicely up. Now, think Freddie Mercury. Push there, and bring it down. Feel the difference. Push, and bring it back down, and keep that going. Now could you do a Freddie Mercury, can you feel those muscles getting stretched out and they get extra work out as well? The full back, guys, is working super hard. This isn't just the shoulder. They'll just show you how the muscle trains join together. Sometimes people have weak or weaker shoulders. They start doing shoulder presses with weights or cans of beans or tins of or whatever, and the arm goes off to one side. It's not all about the shoulder. Freddie Mercury, push. You can feel the muscle joints in the back. It's about the back as well. Push upwards. And the waist gets sucked in. Almost done. One left. It's there. Bring it back down. And then we can bring it down. You need to arc it down, guys, and step away. Good. So just the yellow band is what you need to get the muscle trains working on. And that's really, can you feel that there? The back's been working the shoulder and everything. Let's swap that over, shall we? Left foot, the front, and left hand. What, what doesn't annoy me, but sometimes... Um, and Wayne know, knows about this because he, he's, he's had treatments from me for injuries and over the years and everything. Um, but some of think yellow bands for rehab. What a load of rubbish. It really is, okay? There. In. I use them all the time. Out and back. Want to get an exercise right? Get the yellow band on. Get the muscles. Want to get the muscles educated? Get the yellow band on. It's like if we stop doing anything in life, we tie ourselves out straight away for those couple of minutes. We're not going to go back there again, are we? Brick muscles are the same. They've got the muscle memory as well. So we're ready. Stop nagging. Tilt nice and tall. Hand to here. Ready. And we go. There. Got my left hand coming. Now there. And it's straight up. Don't think Freddie Mercury yet. Just get the push. Up we come. Notice how you get the body weight as well. Because you're standing on that band. So your body's aware of that. Keeping the weight on there so it doesn't slip. Without even thinking about it. Just keep that going up and down. Well, on the beam, guys. Pushing up and down. Doing it. A big, big exercise up and back down. And your core is fully engaged. Feel that, what's going on in the body. And back down again. Now, Freddie Murphy, here we go. Reach there and back down. Now feel the difference. And push and reach up a bit more and back down again. And the band's doing exactly the same as the muscles all the way down your spinal column. The multifidus ones holding the vertebrae together. Push upwards and there. The chest working differently as we reach up all the way and back out again. Five more, here we go. Pushing up, one, and back. You can feel the hard work. About now you're thinking, I'm glad it's just a yellow band and bring it back down again. I am too. The calf's working super hard. Two left after this one. Ready, 
up we go. Heart rate, coma, respiration rate, and back down again. And last one, pushing up all the way. Fantastic, bring it back down. There, guys, arc it down and good. Believe it or not, <laughs> we've been building up to that for almost two weeks now. If you think back two weeks on the Saturday morning one and only, I, I brought in the pencils, didn't I? And from that one and the past couple of stretching ones, I've had this really tall stretching out, reaching upwards, Freddie Mercury's and stuff. Just going to want to put this one in for this session. Well done. Okay, good stuff. Now, I'm holding my carabiners to here. I'm folding the band over. I'm going to bring it to the chest. I'm going to pull it out and say, yeah, that's the one. That's what I'm happy with. That's your choice. There. Oh, that feels good. Oh, good. All right, right foot front, left foot behind. Up we come. So is this isometrics or, go, or, or what? I, I think it probably is, you know, across the chest. We're gonna raise our hands nice to the front there, long arms to here, okay? And then take the arms straight there. Band touches the chest, but take the arms a bit further to the rear so you feel it resting on the chest and pulling backwards and just step it off. We go, and three, two, one and return. Oh, we're a little bit more ginger in all steps now, aren't we? There, and good, there. Focus, one, and two, and three, and return for the last one, for three, and two, for the base of skull working, and one, and then bring the hands all the way to the front, and then bring them down. Step off the beam, guys, shake it out. You'll feel it right across the top of the back, up the shoulders. Tommy Cooper, those shoulders around, guys. Okay, so Freddie Mercury, was that way, same thing again, but I want you to get them and try and touch the wall as far as you can, all right? So we're taking that bar a little bit higher. Right foot front, left foot behind, arms nice and long, out we go to here, and now try and touch the wall. You'll feel it go back a little bit, there, and now try that walk. Feel the chest muscles all engaged, there, good, and there. Look at the abs working super hard, and there. Then return for three, keep the arms pushed out. Work it, and there, last step is there. Bring the hands back to the front, looking good. Arc it down, guys, rotate the shoulders, step off the beam and shake it out. In some cases, guys, even there, you can't fit the muscles, they don't move, because you're thinking, push it out, you just feel those little muscle filaments, microscopic ones in the tissues, they start opening up and working. We're getting really, really deep. Okay, so here we go. Left foot front, right foot behind because it has to be, doesn't it? Why do I say, just say left foot to the front. Okay, ready. Up we go, guys, to there. Bring it out. Don't do a Freddie Mercury. Just take it and think, that feels good. That feels like a maximum. We know it isn't after the last side. Step, go. One, get your eye in. Two, watch the steps. And three, look at that core working hard. Here we go. And back, squashing the lemons to the rear. That's posture and poise. Look how soft those knees are. But this side, one more, here we go. Heel toe, heel toe, looking good. Heel toe, there, elbows locked out, nice tight grip. Return, toe heel, squash a lemon with the heel, toe heel, looking good. And there, brilliant. Bring the hands to the front, arc it down, step away. Now, yellow band, I can feel the shoulders working super hard as well, all right? So don't anybody think, it's all right for him, he's gonna go down and bench press 500 kilograms. Well, I'm not, but <laughs> there you go, all right, because that's just showing off. I can feel it as well, guys, all right? It's because it's so deep, origins and insertions. Here we go. So get that foot back to the front again, your right one. Get yourself set up. Bring it nice and long. Take it to the side. And now think Freddie Mercury. And you feel that increase. Feel the abs engaged? Go. One. And look at the posture. Two. And three. You bolt upright, guys. Natural posture position. Return there. And yes, and you're so good, you got a bonus. Let's go one more time. Push out Freddie Mercury to the sides. One. If you're ahead of me, that's okay. Don't worry. Don't pause and wait. There. And return. There. Push the arms out. Feel the shoulders working. There. And back to here. Bring the arms to the front. Arc it down and rotate them around, guys. Get that all nice and going. Oh, I like that one. I liked it a lot. I'm going to keep the same resistance on. And I've took those to the bands to the rear, all right, to the rear there. I'm going to change over the feet. Left foot front, right one behind. I'm going to pull it up there. Now you might be thinking, we've just done that one, Tug. Can you feel the difference? Because behind us, the shoulders around the shoulder base, the back's working super hard as well. 
Let's do something a little bit different though, okay? Bring it from there, hands to the front here, long. Then back, three more, one. And back, good. And two, yes. And there, and last one, and three. And there, now with it behind, if you noticed, it's pulling you up, it's pulling the chest up, the imaginary string. Step forward one, and hold. Just hold it there, guys. The shoulders are working super hard. Take them down the back. Nice T-shape. To the front. Go. There. And back again. Yes. Out. Look how far back. A4 paper between the shoulder blades. There. That's what we're doing. Exaggerating that one. There. And to the front again. The A4 paper is now, what do you call it? Paper mache. <laughs> to the front. Good. And then back out. Good. And step back. One. To here. Bring those hands down. Step away. And shake it out and rotate those shoulders around. Now with the yellow band as well, we're working them, their recovery is gonna be fantastic. When you first put that down, you're thinking, oh, not another one. Take a big deep breath and you're ready to go again. Yes, you are, because I said so. Okay, right foot front, left foot behind. Same position, up we come. We're gonna hold that there. Ready, step forward to the front and rear one time. One, and two, and three. Return for three and two, and one. Hold, arms there, push the foam down, dip, watch the balance, that in the base of the skull as we dip down, bring it back up again, then the arms come to the front, oh, that's a relief, isn't it? And go again for one, and two, and three, and return for three, and two, and a one. Foam to the front, and gently dipping that back down, and up we come again, open the hands out, Bring them down, step up in, shake it all out. Good. That's a song, wasn't it? Shake it. Come on, shake it all out, wasn't it? Anyway, top it over, guys, back on the beam. Left foot front, right foot behind. Okay, we're oh, almost finished with this shoulder and T-shaped work, okay? Hands up to here and out. Fantastic. Front and rear one time, this side. One and two. Watch the footwork. And three. Feels good, doesn't it? There. No, think about those steps. No hangovers at all. I'm walking on super glue. Different this side. Dip it down now. There. Good. I like it, that one. And back again. Fantastic. Hands to the front. Oh, feel the relief as other muscle groups take over and step for one. Lemons, two. And three. And return spatial awareness. Nice confidence. Oh, the heat's building up, isn't it? I'm sweating now. And there. And a push down, guys, to the front with the foams there. And we come back up again. We're going to open those hands out and then bring them back down and give it a step off the beam and rotate, shake it around and give some good habits going with those wrists as well. All right, big posture exercise coming up. We're going to turn the beam sideways. So if you like weighing, you've got some tape on the floor. I'm going to open your feet out. Well, I used to, I, I sometimes look, I'm on a tiled floor, you've got nice lines there or whatever, or patterns. Right, but you, you're all professional beamers, guys. You know when your feet are at the right angles. If you're not on a beam, and how far apart? And how far apart? Well, where you're comfortable, to be honest. I always go just about the semi sumo. And then to do a little bit one of these, and you get, yeah, that, that gets everything fired up, gets the brain focused and switched on. You, <laughs> do you know you, you all do that anyway. As soon as the camera comes on, everybody's bobbing and weaving like this. Okay, good stuff. Placing this onto the right foot. There. And I've got it to here. So we're not going to get that going on. It's straight up and down to here, okay? Holding both the carabiners to there. And up I come to here. Watch the elbows and arms. That's it, good stuff. And back down again, there. And up we go again, there. Good. Now you come this time. Think imaginary string. In the chest, roll up, roll up. That's it, good, there. So like you're trying to look above the hands. There. There's always walls somewhere, isn't it, where you can't see over them. Well, in the way it was always all right. I was always... Next to Wayne, trying to look over the way he's lifting me up to have a look there and back down. It's there, up we go there, peeking the head over and back down again. Fantastic. Keep it going, doing a few more. Keep that going, guys. Now, knees just off lock if you can, just off lock in this position. Up we come there. Now we've got that eight shape thing taking place. You think after what we did before, the shoulders will not do this one, but we're working and getting the muscle trains joined together like we did Freddie Mercury before. That's your postural muscles there and back down again. Three more this side, up we come, one, and back, and two. Now follow me along on the last one, and back, 
and three and hold. Now, rotate away from the foot with the band on. Take it around as far as you can and hold. Bring it back around towards me. There. And again, round we go. There. Spine working super hard, guys. Bring it back around. Good stuff. Last one. We ready? Around we go. There. And then back around towards me. Lower that down. Dip it down. Step away off the beam and give it a nice shake out. So you can feel how triceps are work. Lazy muscles triceps. We're working those. And we haven't been doing our tricep presses. We're getting all the muscles working together. Shake it all out, guys. You know what? Let's get a breath in, shall we? I think we deserve it. Take the hands up and out. Turn the palms up. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. There. Arc it down. Those of you doing weight training, uh, those of some of you doing PT with me, and I've told you how to do weights, you know how intense this is, guys. All right? So well done. Bringing the feet out to the side. Yellow bands today. <laughs> Five bands tomorrow. Onto the foot. There. There's actually... No need at all for anybody ever to increase the yellow band for what our aims are in this class. It's a Pilates-based, beam Pilates class, getting everything working nicely together, less chance, no chance of an injury, anything getting nice and strong, guys. So, upright. Doesn't it, just putting a band on, look how you, you think, don't you? Plus, you feel the body engaging, all the stuff we talk about, you're like, oh, I have got it, I've got good core strength. Of course we have. We ready? But we go nice and straight up. There. And everyone's, look, everyone's execute, executing this, this fantastic. You know when we first started, bring it back there, we had all sorts of things going on. We had two elbows up like this. We had that going on. We had, bring it back there, we've come down this one. We had one arm up like that and the other one level all over the place. Now, everybody's looking fantastic. Up we come, guys, there. Now think nice and tall, looking over that wall. So you roll the shoulders back. You feel the waistline come in. We're getting the abs done at the same time. We are unleashing the power of the beam and we can feel how hard we're working in a nice, slow, controlled session. Three more. Here we go. Nice and tall. Up we go. There. And lower back down. We want to speed up. We're not going to. Two. Up we come. There. Good. Looking over the wall. Back down again. Last one. Up we come. It's there. Looking over the wall. Good. And now rotate away from the leg with holding that band. Round we go. We look back, working hard. Unwind back round towards me. Yes, I've got the shakes going on as well. Last one, take it round again. All the way round. Good. And then back round towards me. And then we lower that back down. Dip the butt down, guys. Step away, take it off, and give it a nice shake out. Oh, feeling good. I've just thought of another 45 different exercises. Good. So, if you're with a person, whoever's on the beam, whoever's watching you, go and lock the door, don't let them out. All right. This one, guys, you can have, in fact, start with nothing on the band, and if you want to, then slowly increase your own resistance, all right? It's all about the balance and control of the arms again. So, right, right leg to the front, onto the foot. Now, Stand so your back foot, the toe is touching the heel. Okay, then stand upright. Just hold that there. Feel the warmth. Just hold the bands. Okay, good. Ready? Take it out to the side here and back down. One more. Up we go and back down. Good. Now, you have to adjust yourself. You can, but step back what you consider to be one step with that back foot. There. Hold. One this side. Here we go. Raise up and back down. Now, this time, when we dip, keep the front foot flat, obviously, back foot up on the toes, raise the arms at the same time. Follow me along. Ready? Go. We dip down to here. There. Now, look at the depth we're getting and the strength. And back up again. Using the bands to help. The bands sticking on the beam is pulling you onto that beam. Down we go again. There. Fantastic. That's nice and slow. Look at that. And we come back up. You're going to be surprised how quickly you recover after this session. Trust me. Take it back down. No Pinocchio nose. There. Totally serious, guys. You're looking fantastic. In fact, you've earned yourself a bonus. There. Stand nice and tall. One more this side. Here we go. Show off. Down. It's powerful. That is a fantastic good picture. And back up again. There. Good. And step away, guys, off the beam and shake it out.
So we're joining all the dots together from having no band to the band, arm movement and getting down, working everything. And again, notice how you're not thinking, my shoulders are gonna fail. All the muscle trains are working together. And remember, I know I keep saying it, the band is mimicking how your muscles are working. Okay, left foot to the front. Oh, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Yes, I had a couple of those copies before. Oh, good grief. Okay, so get the band sorted on the foot nice and nice and firm, and then get the back foot, the toe touching your heel. That's difficult enough for most people to stand on, on a normal surface. And look what you're doing. We ready? Here we go. Bit different this side. Up and back down. This time to the front. Here we go. There. Feel the calves working. Lower back when we go to the front and down. To the side, up, yes, and back down. So no, like meat and two veg, the call it of the, of the, the way we do shoulder presses and bicep curls. Everything's been different this session. We're ready. So the back foot, step one, what you consider to be backwards, keeping your nice balance. Front foot's got to be flat, remember. Take the hands up first to here this side, and now put the dip in. There. So which one do we prefer? Which, one's, which one works the hardest? Bring it back. Arc the hands down. I like this one. You know why? Because the arms are controlling the speed. Go. Dipping it down. There. Oh, I'm going to wobble there. See that? Down. Good. And then back up again. That's better. Good recovery. This, now this one, I've got, to do, I've got to do a better one. Here we go. Down. There. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Good T-shapes. Good posture. You know what? You are looking so good. Dipping it back down. There. Good. So I won't be about for the rest of the year because I'm going to re sell this recording. I have my toes in the beach where Wayne is. Okay, dip it down. There. Good. And bring it back up. Fantastic. Bonus. Hands to the front. Ready? One only. Dip it down. And there. Oh, feel that difference. Hips took over, didn't they? And bring it back up. Good. Dip it down, off the beam, guys, step away. This is now the capital N, it's the Nicola. There we go, that's, that's fun, all right. Yeah, Do it. Nicola's got no glass in that window. I've seen it, I've drove past, all right. <laughs> it's just, there's a net curtains blowing out the window where she's, where she's broke them. Right, guys, right foot front, left foot behind, hands up and out. Now, this is where you, you're gonna feel a difference. Now, it's here. Proud and loud, go. One, two, three, return three, two. Look at that, turn the hands up and go. There, you look like you're a professional getting paid for class there. And back we go for three, and two, and one. It's stand easy position to here. And off we go, look what happens to all those muscles through the body when we put them under a bit of stress, make them work. And look at our technique, fantastic, and there. Lock the hand out to the front, off we go. One, and two, and three. And return for three, and two, and a one. Hands to here, look fantastic, feel fantastic. Turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squish them out. And look at this, a rotation. Round we go, turn the hands up, breathe again. Exhaling down to the body, squish the hands out back round towards me. We're gonna arc them nicely down and swap those feet over, guys. More or less the same thing this side. Now, in fact, you know what? I've changed it. Hands up and out, look good, all right? Show off time. Half swan, go. One, two, three, down. Back my knee and return for three, and two, and one. Turn the hands up, relax tall tower, and go. One, two of these, two, and three. Look at the footwork, can you feel the difference? There, and back again, yes. And go for one, and back, and there. Hands, rotate, turn up, breathe. Exhale down, squish, back round towards me. Relax, tall tower, last movement on the beam, guys. Here we go, and heel toe, heel toe, and there. And arc it down, whites of the eyes, looking fantastic there. Good. Oh, the judges have just given us 20 out of 10. And there, and there, it's here. Rotate round, turn up, breathe. Exhale down, squish to me. Step forward one, 
Turn the hands up, breathe, balance the body off. Exhale, squish, rotate round, turn up, breathe. Exhale down, squish it out, back round towards me and arc it down. I'm stepping off the beam, you stop off the beam too, guys. Press your little button if you need to. Before you do that, from me to you, this is just getting so good. You are so good at what you're doing, well done. Now go away and have a fantastic afternoon. All right, big group hug to everybody. Thank you, Tog. Yeah, catch you later, Wayne, mate. Thank you, bye all. Catch you later. Bye, thank you, bye. 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 Ali, you still there? Yes, I am. Yep. You say, what the beginning was saying was about health and safety. Two things this week. I had a new cooker delivered. Three guys carried it in. I found a packet with two chains in. That's the chain to the wall in case it falls over. Couldn't believe it. And then <laughs> and your band arrives and the little, little note says, we've changed our packaging so you can't put bags on your head. It's that long and coiled up. <laughs> so they put a bag to be the same length as a band and coiled it up inside. Well, anyway, it's all there for you, sweetheart, okay? Wonderful. I'll, uh, I'll, pop, I'll message you and we'll, I'll pop there and pick it up. Okay. If I'm not a bet, I'll be inside the gym. You know where it is. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Good Thank one. You. Bye. Bye.